Hello everyone. How are you all doing today? I hope you are all doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am doing great from my end and I want to welcome each and every one of you to our YouTube channel. So if you are new here kindly, remember to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so, so that you will be able to get notified. And for the returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate all of you and I'm here to share a story that I actually talked of earlier on about Princess Anne. And the way we looked at Anne, I told you that she's the only person I can say she is hardworking in the royal family. And that's true because you see, she already made an appearance after that critical situation that she was in. And I remember while I was sharing with you, I told you it seems something so scary because you can imagine someone of her age and some injuries in the head. That actually seemed so scary and definitely we wished her the best. And finally, we are able to see that she went back to work. So that also suggests the fact that she's really hardworking. And I know every other member of the royal family were always leaning on her. Everybody were like, you know, just come back to work because, you know, the lazy ones can never do any good. So anyway, for today, I'm here to share a message related to that. And some messages that Kate and William sent to Anne. So... Someone just came here and had a very bad comment about it. And I'll also share an article published about the same. That, you know, Princess Anne probably didn't appreciate William and Kate's message of support. And, you know, I was like, so you people can never appreciate someone with back to work just immediately after some very bad situations, a very bad injury. And you are here criticizing her for some, I don't know, she didn't appreciate the message. And I'm like, you know, William and Kate, first of all, are doing nothing. They did nothing. They have never done anything that we can clap for. But, but for Princess Anne, I can say she's so different from the rest of the members of the royal family. So I don't know the need for these critics. But anyway, that is the way UK media and the royalists are always been now you know i want to share a story an article published about the same and maybe before i do that i just want to read the comments or rather the statement that william and kate sent to her so the royal family first of all shared in their ex account that is twitter and they said the princess Royal began a gradual return to duties today with a visit to RDA Nationals Championship at Hatpari University and Hatpari College. So that was from the royal family up updating the reappearance of Princess Anne. And you know, William and Kate, their official page actually came in there talking of Super Trooper. So great to see you back so soon. So that was the message that now these royalists are following up and down if Princess Anne did appreciate that. But anyway, deep down, I am very sure Anne is someone who can appreciate such kind of messages. But now, because these people are looking for some news, they are looking for some headlines, they might just decide to do something related to that, just as they did. So here with an article, a very short one from the Daily Mail, talking of, you know, did William and Kate give too much away when Princess Anne retur returned to work? They tweeted, Super Trooper, so great to see you back so soon. A message that Auntie Anne might not appreciate. A mall reports that medical advice was for the Princess Royal to rest up over the summer. The results of head injuries not always being immediately obvious, but Anne isn't noted for doing what she's told. William might have had another reason to see Anne back so soon. She can share the burden of investitures 
so far this year there have been 25 with an presiding at 17. so it sounds like the male just wanted to point out that william and kate are lazy layabouts who are eager to push on to get back to work and definitely it's true they really wanted Anne back in work because they literally can't do anything it also sounds like even Anne knows that she needs to just recuperate too and the one event last week was her proof of life event and now she'll get the summer off as well and i hope so so she actually needs to recover and that is all what we all know and we can actually understand her concerning the health and especially the head injuries and you know the fact that Anne is already someone older so she actually needs to recover that kind of head injury is not a joke so Anne cancelled more of her upcoming events and the palace says that she needs to rest and recover William and Kate look like you know they are not content with that story but you know I have always said you can't be pushing someone who already work enough just to cover up for your laziness. It's so bad. It's so bad for that. So you see the whole story is all about, you know, did Anne appreciate the message from William and Kate? That was the whole story at the beginning. But I just decided to also highlight the fact that William and Kate are lazy and they definitely feel so good seeing Anne returning to work so soon because they know Anne is someone we can all depend on anyway just compare that story with the one for Kate Middleton you can imagine she took a, almost half a year to recover from a planned abdominal surgery and later on an announcement of cancer diagnosis of which I really don't think there is something like that. But anyway, that was an excuse. Let me not dig into that today because I was here basically for Princess Anne. So all in all, it's weird. I want to say it's weird to just discuss on how Anne is not appreciating the statement that she was given by the Wells. And it actually felt so bad at the time because... The Kensington Palace social media people rarely quote to it or acknowledge the other winners, especially Anne. So it felt like the whole family was sort of pushing Anne to get back to work. And before she had even fully healed. You can imagine a 73-year-old aunt. And now William and Kate feel like she's supposed to be working even on our behalf. That is so inhuman, but anyway, all I wish for Anne is a quick recovery and may everything good happen to her. So that is all about today's video. I don't know what you have to say about it kindly. Leave a comment down below concerning the same and allow me end it here. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so and also like this video. Until next time, goodbye.